I just realized. And I have two cats that shed a lot, so that's gonna be fun. Um, so sorry if I have cat hair all over me, don't judge me. Oh, I feel like I should put a headband on. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I wanted to put my headband on, and then I put the cat's bandanas on so we can match. Um, I put my Christmas cards up here. They look really cute. Um, but I wanted to tell a quick story. So when I was at when I was going, I was said earlier that when I went to Target, I was gonna get some wine, but then I was like, mm, no, I don't need it. But I was like, oh, I should have got wine, um, cause I want to do like Christmas stuff today. It's my first day of my Christmas break. I want to do Christmas stuff. So I was when I was cleaning up, I found this. Uh, last year we had a friend's Christmas party. Um, we're not doing it this year just cause we've been busy and I don't know. No one's really reached out to us, so. Um, so when we had our Christmas party last year, we had to do the secret Santa, or not secret Santa, like a white elephant, like gift exchange thing. And we went out after, so everyone left their presents here, and then they just didn't feel like coming to get them, so we got a lot of people's presents. Penelope, you're okay! <laughs> it's a bandana! Calm down. Um, so I had this for a year over in a bar cart. Uh, this whole time I thought this was bourbon. This whole time I thought this was bourbon. This is a red wine in stashed in bourbon barrels. So it's red wine, but it's just made in a bourbon barrel. This whole time I thought this was bourbon. What was I thinking? So we're going to try this tonight. Let's open her up. Copper and Thief. It is dusty because I said it's a year old. But that's okay, right? Wine just gets better with time. Let's open her up. It also comes with glasses that I think are really cute. Let's try not to break it as we open it up. Oh, look how cute she is. Let's put you in the fridge. It might have like a bourbon taste to it, which I'm not the biggest fan of bourbon. I know I shouldn't say that since I live in Kentucky. Um, I'll drink it, like. But let's put her in the fridge, try her later. Because why not? <laughs> why not? Hopefully that's good. Shout out to whoever left that here. Um, then we got these little cute little cups. Not that we need any more cups, but they're here. I just want to tell that story real fast. Now, I'm going to, I think I'll make a smoothie. No, I'm going to, I'm going to make a smoothie. Um, and then I will do some dishes. And then I will ma might bake some cookies. We'll see. So, I will update you when I have something more interesting. What are you doing? You're caught. What are you doing? What was your plan here? Do I need to put that up? Do you know that's for you? Get down. You're just gonna stay there? Okay, update. I am making some kale chips because if you saw in the other another video, I accidentally bought way too much kale because I don't know how to read. Um, so I'm making kale chips. We'll see how those taste. And then I'm making some roasted Brussels sprouts just because I'm gonna be home, you know, for a week and a half. So, um, to have little snacks. Some little healthy snacks, so I'll update you with how those turn out. Okay, so now I moved the coffee table out of the way, and I'm gonna wrap some presents. I'm not gonna show you that because you'll some people will see what they're getting. And I'm turned on a Christmas movie, a Hallmark Christmas movie. It's about um, 
a guy who adopts a cat for Christmas. So we'll see how it turns out. Um, but I'm waiting for the kale chips to cook. The I'm gonna then put the Brussels sprouts in, and then once I'm done wrapping presents, I think I'll make some cookies. So let's get to wrapping. Okay, so I'm like five minutes into this movie, and this firefighter adopts a cat. Well, the firefighter goes home, and a cat runs into his house. And he's like, okay, you can stay with me for one night, but, I mean, obviously he's gonna fall in love with it, and whatever. But the cat has a collar on, and a name tag. So it obviously belongs to someone. I'll update you. Also, she's carrying Walmart bags. Walmart sponsored this video, I guess. I will update you if they say anything about that it's someone else's cat, because it's obviously someone else's cat. He also gave it... He also gave it milk, which you're not supposed to, so... Update you about that. Okay, update. It's like five minutes later. Um, he called the number on the collar of the cat, and its owner died and has no family, so... They did do something about that. Also, very attractive fireman with a cat is the cutest thing ever, so. Okay, it's a little later. I've changed. Yes, I'm wearing a shirt from college. Yes, I'm wearing a shirt from my sorority. Yes, I've almost been graduated from college for four years. Don't judge me. I'm cold and it's thick and comfy. Don't judge me. Okay, so I made kale chips and I made Brussels sprouts and I'm about to put them in the little container. The kale chips are actually delicious and I don't really like kale. I just kind of eat it to be healthy. But these are really good. They don't really taste like kale, they taste like chips. Um, I know Josh wouldn't like them because they're something healthy. But I'm gonna put those away. I'll probably make more of those later after cookies because I've almost eaten the whole thing already because it's really good. So, we're gonna start making some cookies. Let me put these away and I'll be back for cookie time. Okay, so the first cookie we're making is a cheesecake cookie. And the recipe says the butter and the cream cheese need to be room temperature. And uh, we don't have time for that. Actually, we do. I'm just lazy. So we're just putting them in the microwave for like five seconds to make them room temperature. Oh, whoop! Is the lid too big? Let's move you. Oh, now my hands are all gross. Okay. I love cream cheese. Let's hope. It says to beat. Oh, do I, have, I have to use that little hand thingy. Okay. I'm gonna need a bigger roll. We'll use this guy. Yeah. I'm gonna put your cream cheese in there Whoop. and our butter that's definitely not room temperature definitely not melted too much might be melted too much it's fine I think this was my grandma's because it looks pretty old probably so I need to beat it for until ooh. Need to beat it until fluffy and smooth, one to two minutes. So, I will do that and I will be back. Ah! Let me turn it off before I plug it in. Okay. Let's beat. Okay, I beat it for like five seconds and realized I'm gonna need a bigger bowl. So I probably should have thought of this ahead. So, let's use this big bowl. 
and we're gonna transfer all this to the bigger bowl because I'm making a mess. Oh, okay. What can I use? What can I use? Let's use a spatula. I never read ahead. I need to read ahead. So I read ahead, then I would know that I'm supposed to add more ingredients after I beat this. Plus, it was going everywhere, so. Okay, so I just made the cookie dough. It's in the fridge cooling. It has to cool for 15 minutes. I should set a timer. Okay. So, now that we're waiting on that, we got to do the thing that I hate. And the reason I don't like cooking or baking. Cleaning. I'm going to clean everything up now. I hate this part. I'll be back. Okay, so I have all the cookie doughs in separate bowls. I have a red, a green, and white shirt. So now we are going to make the cookies. We're gonna make each, put, take a little bit of each color, make it a marble effect, and make the cookie. So I'm gonna do a time lapse of that. Okay, so the cookies, I just made her in the oven. Um, that was a mess, and I did not enjoy it. Not at all, it was too much of a mess. Um, so hopefully those turn out good. They might look ugly, because it was very hard. It was very sticky. But I'm gonna take a break after those are done, and then I'll make the lazy sugar cookies and peanut butter cookies that I just got the dough for. I did not do anything fancy. So, I will see you later. Okay, so, update. I changed for start because I was hot. Um, I tried this wine. I hate it. I'm not a very big red wine person. I don't like it, but I'm going to drink it because it's wine. Um, I made some sugar cookies, and they are huge. I don't know how they got so big. So we got some like very fat angels and some very fat gingerbread man. That gingerbread man is huge. But I have icing, I'll decorate them later. I'm now gonna make some peanut butter cookies. Um, the cookies I made earlier, the like cream cheese or uh, cheesecake cookies, taste like biscuits. They're not very sweet. I was supposed to add, oh my teeth are red. Crap. Oh well. I was supposed to add peppermint, but like Josh doesn't like peppermint, so I didn't add peppermint. So I think that's why they're not very flavorful, but they're fine. Um, I think I'm going to end this here because my teeth are getting red and I'm hot and I'm tired. And so, thanks so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like I said, I will see you tomorrow.